Good Thursday morning, October 24, 2024. 20, Tony Gwynn, 1991 season. How did he do? Career batting average, 338, 3,141 hits. I'm curious. Tony Gwynn's 20-year career. I'm curious to find out every single box score he produced, all his accomplishments. So I started with 1982 season, and I've covered every season's box score. This video, 1991 season, 134 games, 530 at bats, 69 runs scored, 168 hits. That's down from the 177 the year before. Also, his games are down. Played 141 the year before. So 134 indicates that he missed 28 games. wonder why. Because I like to see Tony Gwynn play a full season. Because when he does, he produces 200 hits. So he plays 134 and gets 168 hits. 27 doubles, 11 triples, 4 homers, 62 RBI, 8 stolen bases, 34 walks. But he bats 317, and this is the 10th year in a row over 300. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. His 10th season, 300 or better, 317. 355 on base, 432 slugging, 229 total bases. Best hitting streak was 15 games, 49 multi-hit games, 34, 35 two-hit games, 13 three-hit games, two four-hit games, 12 games, two runs scored, 14 games, two RBIs, and four games, three RBIs. So... How can we evaluate Tony Gwynn's 1991 season? Good, but not very good. Why? 168 hits, and he misses 28 games. That's still pretty good output for hits. I like the 317 batting average. But you can't consider him among the greatest of all time. Why? His home run production is low. His RBI production is low. And runs scored are low. So far up to this point. Now he's got 10 seasons in a row, 300 or better batting average. He has four batting titles up to this point. So you got to consider him among the top hitters of all time up to this point. Would you agree? I, I think so. Tony Gwynn focuses on hitting, not the home runs and the RBIs or the slugging. Even on base is 355. Ted Williams averaged 482 career, and he had some seasons where he was over 500 on base. Also, Ted Williams was a slugger. Home runs and RBIs and runs scored. He's got the 344 career batting average, which is better than Tony Gwynn. But as far as hitting, Tony Gwynn got more career hits. Williams, about 2,600. Tony Gwynn, 3,100. 3,141. Who's a better hitter, Ted Williams or Tony Gwynn? That's a debate I'd like to see both of them have against each other. There is a video on YouTube, Tony Gwynn and Ted Williams talking about hitting. Who would you take? Would you take the Ted Williams 344 and the home runs 521 and the RBIs about 1,800? Or would you take Tony Gwynn's 338 career batting average? But... 
3,141 hits, which is about 500 more than Ted Williams. Who would you take? You want to ask me? Would I take Tony Gwynn or Ted Williams on my team if I can only choose one? Whoa. Would I want the power and the RBIs run scored or would I want the base hit guy? I don't, would you want the, you know what? The Tony, Ted Williams never had 200 hits in a season. Tony Gwynn did it one, two, three, four, five times. And he had two seasons, 197. So he's close to seven seasons of 200 hits. Ted Williams, zero. Ted Williams got about 176, 180, 185. He had a couple of 190s. Ted Williams' career hits, 2,600. Tony Gwynn, 3,100. Now, Tony Gwynn played 2,400 games. Ted Williams, close to 2,300 games. So Tony's about 100 games more than Ted Williams. You want to know the exact number? I'll get it for you here. Let's see. Petty ball game. Go to baseball reference. Punch in Ted Williams. How many games did he play? 22-92. And Tony Gwynn played... <coughs> How many did Tony Gwynn play? 24-40. Let's, let's subtract it. 24-40 minus 29-92. 24-40-22-92. Tony Gwynn played 148 more games than Ted Williams. But how many more hits did Tony Gwynn get? Tony Gwynn has 3,141 hits. Career. Ted Williams had 2654. Tony Gwynn got 487 more hits than Ted Williams, but he played 148 more games. So if Tony Gwynn and Ted Williams play the same number of games, who has more hits? Tony Gwynn. Because he had... 400 more hits. But give Ted Williams 148 more games. Let's say he gets a hit a game. Tony Gwynn still has 300 more hits career than Ted Williams. Now, Williams has a higher batting average. He has more homers and RBIs. Gwynn has the 338 batting average. Williams, 344. Gwynn has the eight batting titles. I believe Williams got six batting titles. Williams had two triple crowns. Tony Gwynn never had a triple crown. Are you going to pose the question to me, who am I taking, Tony Gwynn or Ted Williams on my team? Do I want the hits and the batting average? Or do I want the, the batting average and the home runs RBIs? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. I'm taking Tony Gwynn. Why? I like the consistency of the hits. Also, here's another factor. Even though Williams has the power with the home runs and the RBIs and the runs scored, Ted Williams struck out 709 times. You want to know how many times Tony Gwynn struck out? 434. And you played more games. 709, 434. Tony Gwynn struck out 275 times less than Ted Williams. 
yet Tony Gwynn played 148 more games. Give Ted Williams 148 more games so he ties Gwynn in games played. He probably could have had another 50 or 60 strikeouts, right? Not not a lot. Maybe maybe 40 or 50 in those 148 more games, right? Because he was averaging about 40, 50, 60 strikeouts a year. Did you know that Tony Gwynn, the highest time he struck out in one year was 1988. He struck out 40 times. And that year he had 521 at bats. Now, Ted Williams, he struck out his high was 64 times. See? So why am I taking Tony Gwynn over Ted Williams? More contact with Tony Gwynn versus Ted Williams. Even though Williams has the power, I, I acknowledge that. 521 homers, Gwynn 135. No, no debate there. Williams has the RBIs, 1,800. Tony Gwynn's 1,130-something. I'm taking Tony Gwynn because of, because of the contact ratio. And he averaged more hits per game played than Ted Williams. Is that fair? Teddy's a good, game, t good ball player. But I'm taking Tony Gwynn in this discussion. Agree? Disagree? That's okay. All right, that covers 1991, Anthony Gwynn, Hall of Fame. Next video, 1992. I'm out.